everybody, welcome back. Uh, today I've got a design team project for Victoria Designs on Etsy. Uh, you're probably familiar with Tinny's Design. She has um, a lot of different digitals on her shop. And this is one that she has chosen for me to work with. This one is called Meadows and Wildflowers. Uh, we had a chat, a long chat, about the things that I liked and the colors that I enjoyed working with and, you know, different themes. And she decided that um, this would probably be one that was really suited, and, and I do love it. I think this is a gorgeous kit. And so as you can see, this is an altered file folder. So that is what I have made using the, her papers. Aren't these beautiful? This is the front, and the closure I've decided on this one is a sorry silk with a little eyelet. As you can see there, I've done a lot of multiple stitching on the cover here with um, some laces, fabrics, papers, and then um, this is one of the images that comes in the kit, and I thought that was just perfect for the front cover. So going inside, you know I like to add flips and tucks. This inside cover here, I just added a little scrap paper that you can um, just tear off. These are extra bits of paper that I had left over from the kit. I used almost everything on this kit, which was really, uh, it's always very rewarding when you don't have a lot of extra things left over. Um, and then just you know, some coffee dyed papers that I had left over. And then this is one of the images. So I've just stitched along that and that's there. Okay, over here on this side I've got a couple of collage tags that I made um, and just added different things from my stash. The papers are, are um, out of this kit and then I just added some laces and trims and then these were just some of the flowers from Tim Holtz that I had and I thought they coordinated really nicely with this and then this uh, is a couple of gusseted um, pockets now the inspiration behind these pockets actually comes from Angela Kerr you guys know I love Angela's work. Um, she did a pocket for out of a paper bag, and from that, this was this was my take on it. Um, so thank you, Angela, for the inspiration behind that. So these, I don't have anything in those pockets. I've left those empty because I think it's nice to have room to add memorabilia, um, you know, for the recipient. So this tucks over. Sorry guys, it's been a little while since I made this. Um, <clears throat> so I'm trying to remember what all I had in here. So this flips back over and then on this one I've included... This is a tag from the kit and then this is another little ticket that um, is included in, in it. And then I've just stamped a little tag here with an image and I've tucked this into the little belly band. This is one of the uh, pockets that you get which is really nice. I love it when you get pockets in, uh, in something. And look at the papers. Aren't they beautiful with the little girls in it? And I love the florals. I like the greens. The colors are just beautiful. So I made just this really large journal card with scraps that I had left over. You get a sheet of these words which is wonderful and this I just altered some of the packaging off of a product that I had um, so it's a nice big journal card that I've tucked in here uh, this is an altered index card I'm created a little window so that you could see the butterfly and so you could do some journaling behind there and just another little tag with a, one of the images from the kit as well And then this was just some scrap I had left over, and I just added a little bulb pin with some uh, lace, a button, 
And then I just added some little scrappy paper, and of course this was left over, so um, that's been tucked in there as well. Same thing on this side. This was just a piece I had left over, and I just grabbed things and wanted to make use of everything that I that I had. Another altered uh, tag that I created. I did some stitching, and then these are two more pockets that you get in the kit as well. She gives you a lot of little tags. Look at these, aren't they beautiful? Just love the colors because you know I like the green with lavender. I think that's a beautiful combination. I'm sorry about the noise in the background, guys. Daisy is um, she's doing her nails now, so <laughs> she's decided she's going to give herself a manicure tonight. <laughs> Crazy dog. <laughs> So let's see what we got here. This is the back and to start here I've doubled up the pockets and added a couple more tags from the kit. Or actually these are handmade tags, I'm sorry. Um, but I've taken elements and some of the elements I had left over from um, in my scrap pile and just um, made some handmade tags there. And then a couple of more um, tiny tags that fit inside this little ticket that I've made into a pocket. And so moving this up, I'll try to zoom you guys in a little bit more. Um, this actually flips down. So we'll start with this, this top one. Again, um, this is another tag that you get from the kit. I've just added some fabric there. And then this is one of the little uh, faux envelopes. Isn't that pretty? Another pocket that she's included. And I love the background paper. I think you could tell I really love that design because I use quite a lot of that. And I'll move this up a bit more so you can see this one. And then here you get, I got another little um, belly band and I've just tied these two journaling cards together so that those could just be moved throughout the journal. And so that flips up and here we've got another belly band with another little um, journaling card that I made. I added a little tab to this one and I did some stamping so you could do some journaling on the back of that as well. So this closes And then in this one, I've actually done a little bit different because I created a journal for this one. Now, it's a very simple um, journal. I didn't overly embellish it, um, but I did make this little close, altered clothespin. I love making those. And then on, on this one, I knew I couldn't do too much on the front because it was going to be fitting inside this. And I just thought, well, this is just an extra space where someone could document things. And as I said, um, I haven't over-embellished this like I would probably do on most of my journals. But I, I just thought it was something different. Um, I haven't added a journal to a altered file folder in some time. So, um, Okay, so this one... Let's just get started. This is an um, altered window envelope, as you can see, and these are more things that you get within the kit. And you get this little mini file folder. I love that. I love the color combination on that. So I just did some stenciling, added one of the words there, and this is another little tag that I made with a book page. and. This is a bit from the kit, and I've just combined those. So here are the papers. I just think they're just gorgeous. Um, I took a torn uh, tearing ruler and just tore the edges. It just adds to more of the um, rustic look to it, and I created this little extra. Got it. This is one of the tickets. And I've tucked that into a little pocket here. And then this is just another little extra writing space 
with some scraps that I had left and I didn't want to throw them out so and then another tag in the back and then I just added some little lace and so on for it, the little corner and then here I did some stenciling so there's a secret writing space there over here I did just a little tuck spot and this is just a piece of paper that I had and I stamped so you've got another write, writing space. This is um, another element that you get. And I just fussy, fussy cut the little girl out and added another of the words. I love that sheet because it's so useful to have words that we can um, use in our projects. They're very, um, the pages look very weathered and I love that look. So this is um, just a little pocket that I made. It's a double pocket, and you'll see the other side. Um, another journal card from the kit. Love the images on that. As you can see, I didn't over embellish this because, as I said, it, I needed it to um, to fit inside the file folder. And then this is one of the Tim Holtz uh, tokens. It says, Just One Life. More of these pages. And this is the other side. <clears throat> I've just tucked another little journal card in there. And I backed this. <clears throat> Excuse me. This, this is some of the background paper that you get. And I've just backed it with some... Um, I think that was the tea dyed paper. Another one of the little tuck spots that you can flip over and do some writing and this is just another little journal card that I made out of some more packaging. Love this page. Really, really love that one. And then this is just a little altered paper clip that I've tucked another window envelope in and this was just uh, stuff that I had in my stash that I just included in this journal. So this, I've got another little tag back here. So I've just added this to the journal. Um, another little cluster. Love the pages. This is so pretty. And then here, this is another one of the little wildflower tags. Tuck that in, and then this flips over, and here I've made another journal card. And tuck this into this pocket. So there you go, guys. That's the little journal that I've made, and this fits inside Here. So there's nothing that's going to catch on that. That was really important to me to make sure that there was nothing that was going to get caught. And I like that um, that, that shows over it. So I hope you guys have enjoyed that. I really enjoyed working with this kit. It's, um, it's the colors that I enjoy. And you know I like anything that's got the flowers and butterflies. Look at that page of just the butterflies all over it. A lot of fun. I really appreciate um, Tinny letting me use this kit. It was it was so much fun to work with. I hope you guys have enjoyed that. I'm going to put a, just, um, a link to this kit in my description box below. Do check out her other kits. Um, she's got so many in the shop. Um, you're probably going to hate me <laughs> when you visit her shop because she does have so many things. But do check her out if you're looking for some interesting um, elements to add to your journals or maybe you're just looking for something completely different on a journal kit. She's got a lot of different designs, so I think you'll enjoy it. I hope you've enjoyed this. I hope that you'll come back soon. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.